Meron po tayong konting reflection tungkol sa Trinity na ating na-celebrate last Sunday. And ngayon, I am presenting this icon of a Russian monk by the name of Andrei Rublev. The Orthodox Church claimed that he is a saint. So tingnan po natin sa second slide, makikita niyo po. Nakita niyo po ba yung dotted yellow lines? Ayan. Lahat po ng icon, actually, merong border. Yan po ang window natin. Think of it as a window. At sa labas ng window, you see God. Yan po ang ibig sabihin ng icon. It is allowing us to view God. So, lahat po ng gantong paintings, uh, actually, ang tawag nila, icono writing. You have to, iconography, graphos means to write. You just have to copy former icons because these are fruit of prayer and fasting po. I've done an icon myself for five days. Nako buong araw po na ginagawa in silence po. Magkasama kami ng uh, abot ng uh, Abbey of Montserrat dyan sa Mendiola, San Beda. Nako sabihin ko sa inyo, wala kaming ginawa kundi to concentrate and bawat hagod po no? to write the icon with paint, with with, uh, with pigments, you need to pray. So, to have an icon is to have a window to see God. And what do we see, Paul? The Blessed Trinity. Outside this world, outside our, our, own, our own personal world, minds, there is God. And so an icon reminds us not to be enclosed, but to see God. So next po bukas, eh, ating pag-uusapan part by part of this icon of the Trinity. Let's just dwell with this. If you want to go back to this uh, recording, <clears throat> let us consider the good God that probably you think dwells outside in the heavens, but actually we can view him, we can see him for as long as we are open, our windows are open to him.